Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Williamsburg, Virginia at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. So the entry plaza is designed to look like England, complete with the red telephone booths. So you can see from all the shops and buildings and the British flags. And because of the humidity, the lens of my camera keeps fogging up, so if it looks a little foggy here and there, I apologize. I'm wiping it down as I notice it. But this is the Emporium building where I got my hat right when I got in here. Even though it's not going to be sunny, I like to have a hat on. So during normal operating conditions, this place would be a lot more crowded. They got the Globe Theater right here. Has a fantastic show. A lot of this stuff is not gonna be open due to the limited capacity of the event. I made sure I brought my umbrella with me. That's Squire's Grill. They have some really good fish and chips here. See, even the restrooms are all decked out. And continue going through this covered walkway. This takes us over to the next area of the park. Each of the areas of the park are designed to look like different countries in Europe. It's routinely voted the nicest looking theme park in the world. Last time I was here was in 2015. This was actually my first road trip. I'm gonna show you guys a map. This is the area of the park that is gonna be open for England, Scotland, Ireland, France, and New France. We've got Bush Gardens, Coasters, and Craft Brews. So Loch Ness Monster, which is a fantastic roller coaster. Then you got Griffin, which is a basic, almost copy of a ride they have in Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. An Invader, which is the one roller coaster I want to make sure I do ride today because this was under construction last time I was here. We're at the Highland Stables. Right through here, might be able to see some Clydesdales. See the size of the horseshoes. One of the dog actors you have. Came and went potty and left. See a couple of the Clydesdales they have here. Clydesdales are back from the Bush Brewing Company days. Although it was no longer owned by Bush Beer, they had kept these fantastic animals. This is Ludo. If the signage names are correct. And this is Aiden, getting a drink of water. The largest horse species. Big giant horses. And this is Axel. And for the kids, they got little Clydes. If you ever wonder how to keep these big horses clean, there's your answer. Nice horse wash. 
Big old giant horse hookies. Gotta keep them clean. This is Axel getting his bath. He is three years old, if you can believe that. He is a big boy. Looks like he's enjoying it. We got a sign here, Clyde's and Collies, where we saw some of each. Saw one Collie running, go potty and run back out. All right, you can see one of the cars going up. They are in testing mode. It's a dive coaster similar to Sikora at Bush Gardens and Tampa Bay. This blue coaster is called Griffin. Double dive coaster. Just like Sikora at Bush Gardens and Tampa Bay. And this yellow roller coaster called the Loch Ness Monster. I mean, kind of difficult to show you the whole layout because it is all throughout the trees. But this is definitely a fun coaster. I remember riding this the last time I was here. I actually have on-ride footage. If you'd like to check out all my ride footage from Busch Gardens Williamsburg back in 2015 when I was here last, just look for the folder Busch Gardens Williamsburg rides. All right, we had a little bit of a break in the rain, so we had the opportunity to ride Loch Ness Monster. It is a fun ride, a little bit rough. So right across this bridge is going to be Ireland. I'm going to go up from Scotland where we are currently to Ireland. There we go, Finnegan's Flyer. This is actually Bush Garden Williamsburg's newest ride edition. Found this similar type ride in other parts. This whole area is Ireland. Got Toys and Leprechaun gift shop. This area also has Atoros. Although it is not open for this festivities today. Rock Dragon's Pub is open for coasters and craft brews. This is their offering that they've got. The whole interior designed to look like a authentic Irish pub. All right, right next to Grogan's Pub is Battle for Airy Action Virtual Reality Ride. Now this is currently not available because of social distancing guidelines. I was looking forward to going on this, but won't be able to. Got the Abbey Strong Theater. This had a fantastic stage show I saw last time I was here. This is not open either. This is the refreshments area of Abbey Stone Theater. It's the actual show. So are the actors that are in it. Fantastic, very enjoyable show. It's a furry animal. They know that that animal is oh, and there's a bird waiting at the exit oh, wow. to catch it after the first one takes it in. Yeah. Such a beautiful the bird. Oh, the historic Castle O'Sullivan. This is a reproduction of it, I'm assuming. I don't know much about Ireland. I have not been yet. I do plan to go in the future. This is what Bush Gardens Williamsburg is doing during Coasters and Crafts Brews. Keep everybody safe. There we go, we got Bald Eagle. American Bald Eagle. These are all, got their wings open. Now most of them have their wings open. I guess they dry out from the rain we had earlier. Beautiful, beautiful birds. 
There's his penny. Reason why he is here. And Roosevelt. Abigail. Taft. So all these birds were injured. So they're no longer able to live in the wild. This area is called Wolf Ridge. All right, Wolf Valley, we've got the gray wolf. And there are two gray wolfies in here. These guys have a really nice habitat. And right across from that is the more pet shenanigan show that has proven quite popular on my channel. Again, under Bush Gardens Williamsburg, if you would like to see this presentation as it is not available during this event. Got a North American Barn Owl. It says Cupid. What's up, sweetie? Such a pretty bird. Got Lorikeet Glen. So for protection of the animals, this particular area is not accessible for the public. We can see some of the birds in the back here all along the looks like they're on a rope. Tells you all about the lorikeets. Got several different types of birds in here, not just the lorikeets. There's the lorikeets. Nice color, green and blue and orange, yellow. This is nice. Got an old vintage carriage. And they do have a face covering relaxation zone where you can take your face mask off. You have to make sure you are separated from people that are not in your group. All right, right across the railroad tracks is France. The turn station for the aeronaut Skyride is not operational at the moment. So you do have a lot of French shops. Snack bar location. All right, and France is also the location of Griffin. This is a dual drop roller coaster. I do have on ride footage of this ride if you would like to see it. Very similar track layout. The Shikra at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. See it holds you there. Griffin. So we got some rain clouds. Possible rain again. Okay. So showing the map again. We are in France. We're about to go into New France. And the last roller coaster is Invader in the top left. You see Griffin and Loch Ness Monster. Been on both of those. This is New France. You also have three rivers, funnel cake and kettle corn. If you're looking for something sweet. This is caribou pottery. An old timey general store. Right across the way they even have a more rustic general store, Trapper Dave's general store. You got gem mining and candle carver. This is the open air partial gift shop. 
to gem mining. All right, Invader. Only wood coaster in this park. This is under construction when I was here back in 2015. Very fun ride. Quite cool looking. Now, loose articles are not permitted on any of the rides here, but you do have lockers available. All of our this is a station. Please remember to wear your face coverings at all times. Sanitize your hands before and See, after the ride. Water flume right above us. Right. A little bit more of the track. It's also location at Caribou train station. Also not operational. And they got the catapult. It's basically a scrambler ride. You have restroom locations right next to Invader. Got a little bit of drizzle. We'll show you a little bit more of this area. Let me get my umbrella out and protect my camera. So currently this is as far as I'm able to go. However, from this vantage point, you can see Alpengeist roller coaster, which is a suspended coaster. Unfortunately, this ride is not operating at the moment. I guess as quick as the rain came, that is gone. So we've got clear sky for the most part again. You have barbecue, which is one of the food areas that is open. Alright, so I'm going to go inside Trapper Smokehouse and see what they have to offer. So it's all cafeteria style. Our beverages we got. Super main meals. Kids meals on sides. They even have some desserts. All right, so I just had my lunch and it was fantastic. I do enjoy barbecue. I don't have it as much as I like to. Not a whole lot of barbecue places directly where I live, unless I go to Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. They have fantastic barbecue there as well. We do have rain heading this way again. Evening, it's gonna be uh, torrential downpours. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. I know it didn't look like there was a whole lot to see and do, but this was a way for Busch Gardens Williamsburg to allow some guests in the park, even though the whole park isn't available until the state allows the reopening fully. It is getting to the end of this normal season anyway, so hopefully the park will open up before the end of the year. There is no news yet whether or not they're going to be having either Halloween or Christmas events held here at this park. I just got word a couple days ago that Busch Gardens Tampa Bay is having an altered Hollow Scream this year and Christmas Town. A lot of modifications to keep people safe. So I'm going to check out a few other little odds and ends here before I head out because more rain is on its way now. More of the track of the two coasters that are operating over in this area. We got one of the Clydesdales out in the field now. Keeping the grass trimmed nicely. Just between the horses and the sheep, you don't have to worry about cutting the grass over this area. Back towards the front of the park, across these railroad tracks. The path is blocked, but this is the area for Sesame Street and the kids' size rides, just like a Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. And you see the Sky Ride station right here. Normally, you'd be able to see Scottish Highland cattle right here, but they are not out. So, one of the many differences 
between Busch Gardens Williamsburg and Busch Gardens Tampa Bay is Busch Gardens Williamsburg has a lot more acreage that is natural whereas Busch Gardens Tampa Bay is inside a major city so they do have a retaining wall that goes around the property so you don't have as many trees as this place that was the major thing that I noticed first first time I came here was all the greenage the trees that this park has now so we are back up front to England it's odd seeing everything all closed up in this area. It's normally very bustling with people and shops and shows. All right, everybody. That was Coasters and Craft Brews at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. A temporary event because the actual park is closed to the general public still. More than likely, it will not be opening uh, fully for this calendar year. Pantheon, their brand new roller coaster that was supposed to open up this spring, has also been postponed until next year. Just like at my home park, uh, Bush Garden, Tampa Bay, Iron Gwazi, the highly anticipated roller coaster that I was looking forward to riding, which was supposed to also open up this spring, has been postponed until next year. Because it's new coasters, they won't be able to have a grand opening properly for the magnitude of the ride because everybody's gonna be coming to ride that ride. So it's understandable. They don't want it tainted by the closures. So we still have those to look forward to next year. Hopefully things will be better. Don't know yet. It's still early. But hope you guys enjoyed my little small tour corner of the park if you ever been here leave some comments down below what your favorite area of the park is this is a fantastically designed theme park I can understand why it is often rewarded as the most gorgeous looking park aesthetically pleasing with the different countries my favorite area is is Germany and Italy those two areas I wasn't able to show you because they're off limits. So anyway, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I upload new videos every Thursday. If you like what you see, I go to lots of theme parks, zoos, aquariums, roadside attractions all over the country. This is a little quick trip for me, specifically for this event, to come here to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, show my appreciation to the people. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.